Hey, hey Internet. We're on set. Uh, hey. 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 Bradley. Beck Bennett. Guys, we're on the set of Intramural with Beck Bennett. I'm Bradley <laughs> Jackson. This is Beck Bennett. I'm Beck Bennett. One of the stars of the film. Absolutely. We are going to uh, ask Mr. Bennett a couple of questions here that you, out on internet.com, asked him. Mm -hmm. So, first question. Josh Hallman asks, is the character you play on the AT&T commercials a projection of your actual personality, or is it modeled after somebody else? Uh, I don't know. Yeah? Uh, I guess it's just, uh, I just worked on it for a while. It's just like a, it comes from me, uh, <laughs> to some degree, um, but there wasn't a uh, a specific image in mind. I just started working with like a uh, like a, I guess it'd be like Ted Koppel. Okay, is kind of what it's based off of. Um, and like, but just like Dateline, like you know, like late night news hosts, and just started mm -hmm. working with it. And the more I worked with it, I realized like the drier the better. Right. Uh, and like the the stiller the better that I liked. And you did a very popular YouTube series called Fresh Perspectives. That's right. Uh, before the AT and T commercials, you yeah. should everyone out there should check those out. They're hilarious. Check it out, dude. <laughs> um, Chris Allman, who's a real person, not me, yeah. wrote, "How many laugh out loud slash spit out your soda moments can we expect from Intermural?" I think they're. Wait, what kind of moments? Spit out your soda moments. Are they laugh out loud spit out moments? Yeah, laugh out loud slash spit out your soda moments. I think there's. 602. 602, okay. Um, it's a little low ball, but that's fine. Well, how many minutes are there in a, a movie? 193. So you're doing six of those a minute? Yeah. Something, yeah. roughly? Yeah, roughly. Or no, three of those a minute. Yeah. Yeah. 193? Okay, but counting the scenes that you're in, so you've got to double them, right? Yeah, so we're going to talk about maybe 6,000. 6,000. Sweet. 6,000 spitter moments. Spit out your soda moments. Um, yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of them. Sweet. It's a major laugh out loud. That's the kind of comedy it is. It is. It's a major laugh out loud movie. It's You're not like a chuckle to yourself, like, oh, I know that moment. It's like a major laugh out loud movie. Tyson J asks, who was your sports hero growing up? Um, Michael Jordan, definitely. Grew up in Chicago, so it was uh, really amazing. I also, I mean, like, it was definitely Michael Jordan and then a little bit of... Dennis Rodman, I love the style. Okay. And uh, and then like a little bit later in like junior high and high school was uh, uh, Brian Urlacher. Okay. Matthew B asks, your improv skills are amazing in the AT&T ads. What have you learned about improv from working with those kids? Um. Well, one step one, don't put a rag in front of your mouth. Oh, being interviewed. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> we that's can crazy. Get that, right? I for a second I didn't know there was a rag in front of my mouth, and when you said that, I was like, "Wait, there's a rag in front of my mouth." And then I realized, and I took it down. But um, yeah, there's this rag, is, this one right here. This one was this was, it was that like one this. right there. It was before like that. Um, the uh, what I've learned from them is, <laughs> that, well, they're you know one of the main rules in improv is to not think and just like say stuff, and that's what they do. And also just like. I just I feel like I've learned I've taken like little characterizations that kids have like the them seeing like <laughs> the way they kind of think about what they're saying as they're saying it and they're just coming up with stuff they're not even sure what it is but they're <laughs> saying it anyway and they kind of say something and they don't know what it is and you look at them and you're like so you think this and this and this and they're like uh-huh yeah that's what I think I, it's just kind of like this weird like ability to just speak without thinking about it or right. judging it I think is something that like I've really seen be me and that like helps you be spontaneous really you know so I think that's what I've learned from those kids all right last questions James W asks how did you meet Nick Rutherford and Kyle Mooney of Good Neighbor uh, we all went to USC together okay. so we uh, it was freshman year and we all auditioned for uh, the school comedy group called Comedis Interruptus mm -hmm. and we were the three guys who made it and uh, we hit it off and just uh, you know started drinking like maniacs yeah. and uh, started started making each other laugh and then the rest was history. Awesome and how'd you meet the other guy the filmmaker? In your team? Uh, Dave McCary uh, is the fourth member of Good Neighbor um, which a lot of people don't know about because he's behind the camera um, but uh, he uh, he grew up with Kyle and he was basically at USC a lot of people thought he went to USC, but he didn't. But he, he was just there the whole time. And 
uh, he started making videos with us. Um, there was this film festival on campus and then started making uh, videos for the sketch group. And uh, yeah, we uh, they all lived together and um, yeah, he, uh, he became our our filmmaker, you know, our, he made the, the videos and edited them and yeah. Awesome. The group.